Croctober happy mamas who've got to make dinner tonight. We are doing day 18th of the Croctober menu planning made easy slow cooker meals. They are fantastic. If you're interested in the magic menu planning box, click the link in the video to get 12 weeks of slow cooker meals delivered to your door. They're fantastic. I promise best recipes on the internet. The only menu planning site on the internet that does anything like this where we just send you the recipes and the menu plans and the grocery list and everything all in one place and they're fantastic so click the link in the video if you're interested as you're hopping on tell me who is making chicken marsala with me tonight guys is anybody doing this y'all tell me who's working with me to make this tonight also tell me where you're from tell me what your favorite thing is to have for fall and tell me if you're excited about October. we only have three days left y'all we got to be excited okay as you're hopping on hi tony hi penny hi janelle hi nicole i'm so glad to see you guys this morning also hit the share this button if you know someone who would love to watch this with you i'm kind of excited about this meal because it just is so fresh i'm gonna show you hang on i'm gonna scoot my camera over there so you guys can see it really well so what you're gonna need for today's slow cooker chicken marsala is you need about one and a half pounds of chicken tenders. So I've got plain old chicken tenders here. Then you're gonna need two cups of mushrooms, a cup of, about a cup of bacon bits that are already cr um, crumbled up, so two thirds cup of chicken broth, some fresh parsley, some flour. Let me look at how much flour. You need a cup of flour, salt and pepper. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour and our salt and pepper and we're just gonna add this in here. We're just gonna add some salt and pepper and some flour right there. I'm gonna scoot this up here so you can see everything. I'm trying to get better to make sure y'all can see what we're doing pretty well, but it's really hard to see your comments at the same time. So let's scooch that so I have a little more space here so you guys can see. Okay, so there's what we've got going on. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our boneless, skinless chicken breast. Remember I already put some salt and pepper to season this in here. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. So we're gonna get everything good over there. Now in my crock pot, what I already have, let me scooch this here, is, so you can see my crock pot. So let me see if I can get it in the camera also. There we go. What I already have in my crock pot is a little bit of olive oil. If you do not have a fancy crock pot like I do, what you're gonna do is just do this in a skillet. I got too much stuff in the camera today, guys. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm gonna give it just a little happy dressing in the flour. And I'm gonna pop it into my skillet. Now, I'm using the Ninja Slow Cooker because it does it all in one place, so I can slow cook and saute in this one. If you're a normal person who doesn't have this crazy thing, you can just do this in a skillet ahead of time. What you're doing is you're making it, how many of you, give me a harder like, if you have made crock pot meals in the past and they taste like yucky crock pot meals, the problem is that the crock pot, if I just threw this in, it would not taste as yummy as it's gonna taste because I'm doing this one extra step. So I know it takes a little more time in the morning. Most of the meals are just dump meals, but a couple of the really good ones, y'all, you need to do the extra work for. Give me a heart and let me know if you are making these recipes with me and if you've made them and let me know what your favorite one has been. Give me a like if you have no idea who I am or why you're even watching this. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about this morning. I am so excited about this one. This chicken is getting everywhere. So you could also use boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I like chicken tenders because my family likes them. This one actually only takes about four hours to cook. So what I'll probably do is, I will probably pop this in the fridge after Facebook Live this morning and then actually slow cook it for four hours this afternoon on low. And then I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next once this is all done. Okay, so there we got our chicken saute. I'm gonna scooch this over here. Let me see if I can answer any of your questions and make sure, can y'all see? I hate when I can't get the camera to where you guys can see well, and I'm having a hard time of figuring this out. Okay, if I put everything here, I'm gonna move this nasty plate over. I'm gonna move the chicken gut plate over there. And now what I'm gonna do is Oh, you can't see the crock pot, can you? Which is where all the stuff's going on. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we just need this to lightly brown. So I'm not cooking this all the way through. I'm just getting it light and brown. Good morning, Suzanne. Hi, Debbie. Now I can see your comments. Good morning, it's so good to see you guys this morning. So all you're gonna do is just get this nice and lightly browned. It does not have to be cooked through, you guys. So you're gonna it's gonna be an extra 
five minutes in your morning, but the food's gonna taste better in the evening. And the reason y'all know I love my crock pot is that by doing this in the morning, I get all my work done and I know that we will eat dinner at home and we will not be tempted to go out to eat and spend way too much money on food that isn't good and healthy for us to eat anyways. This one is nice because it's fairly healthy. This would be super easy. If you skip, if you're eating keto, you could skip the flour breading um, and just do regular. I'm gonna let this cook down on the other side for just a second. Not too long, I'm hoping this will go quickly. Um, okay, what am I gonna do next? So you guys know what's next. We're gonna saute these mushrooms. Don't those look happy? I love mushrooms. I feel like this has been mushroom week of this slow cooker meal box, um, but they're so good. We're gonna saute these, then we're gonna add in a little bit of chicken broth, two thirds cups of chicken broth, and then we will let all of that cook for four hours on low. And then at the end of the day, we're gonna add in some bacon that's been pre-cooked as well as some parsley. I'm actually gonna also add in some spinach because I'm all about getting extra greens snuck into my family's diet. So I always keep fresh spinach on hand. This is just about done, I think. Yep, let me look at this real fast. These menus are from the Slow Cooker. This is the Slow Cooker Chicken Marsala from the Magic Menu Planning Box. Can this be made without mushrooms? You could absolutely make it without mushrooms. You know what would also be yummy is onions. Um, if you like onions, if you don't like mushrooms, that's another option. I'm using the Ninja. It is amazing. I know you guys ask me about it all the time. We will look for a deal. These, I think they're having some glitches with the Ninja. So you're not always going to be able to find them super easily. Um, I love mine. I have a love-hate relationship with mine. There is a scratch on the bottom. And after this Croctober season, I'm going to get rid of this one um, because I feel like I'm a little worried about the Teflon. So I will tell you, while I love it, I don't think they have mastered the Teflon situation. And I don't, so that's probably why I'm not promoting this quite as much right now. Okay, so you see I've got my stuff there. I'm gonna add in my mushrooms. But if I see a deal on a similar one and I test it out and love it, I will let you know for sure. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this here. Now if you were doing this in a skillet, you would just put those in the crock pot and then you would go ahead and let this all finish up. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read my Directions because I need the directions. Add mushrooms to skillet and cook until they start to brown. Then we're going to add in this chicken broth. Pour mushroom mixture over chicken in slow cooker. Okay, so all we're going to do is once these start, we got to just get these mushrooms cooking. And I will say the only bad thing about this is it is a little slower than real life. Let me show you what we're making for dessert. I'm actually going to do dessert this morning on Instagram Live. So if you are in, on Instagram, come watch me over there. What am I making for dessert tonight? Y'all wanna come see what's for dessert today? Come on over guys. For dessert, we are making peach cobbler. The peach cobbler is super easy. All you're gonna do is mix together four cups of frozen peaches, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar. You're gonna mix that really, really well. Put that in the bottom of your crock pot. Then what you will do is pour over a packet of a box of Betty Crocker Super Moist Cake Mix or any type of cake mix. Put that all over top. Then you're gonna take some butter. You're gonna cut the butter into tea tiny little pieces all over your stuff. And then I wanna show you this special trick. If you are baking, I'm gonna let this saute. I'm hoping this will work while we're trying to get this stuff to saute over here. I'll give you all the tips and pieces. Um, Okay, so this is my trick for baking anything in the crock pot. When you bake in the crock pot, the moisture, how many of you guys have seen a wet crock pot lid at the end of your, it's all wet when you cook at the end of the day. So if you're baking something in the crock pot, what you wanna do is put everything in the crock and at the end of the day, you're just gonna put a paper towel right there and that's, or before you start cooking, you'll put your paper towel there and that will keep it from any moisture, that'll stop any moisture from cooking down into your baking. Okay, let's check out this stuff over here. See how we're doing on this and i will answer any questions y'all have i hope y'all will come check me out on instagram when is instagram live it will be as soon as this one's done so i'm literally gonna finish this one up and go right over to instagram and do that over there so yeah check me out on instagram i'm trying to get better about doing instagram and facebook it's a lot to do instagram and facebook live in one morning let me just say okay so these look like they're cooking pretty well so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in my chicken broth, two thirds cups of chicken broth. We're just gonna let that 
kind of simmer. And I'm going to put back in my chicken. I don't want to put that in there. So I'm going to add my chicken back in. I'm actually going to put my chicken back on the bottom. Now what you would do with this if you're at home is you're going to cook this sucker on low for four hours. I'm going to make sure my chicken's on the bottom and the mushrooms go over top. Again, if you're doing this in a skillet, I have to make a few extra steps because I'm doing it in, it, in my Ninja. So I want to make sure that my, first I want to turn it off so it doesn't cook through. I want to put my mushrooms on top so that a good mushroom flavor goes down into my chicken. You could also add onions. I love onions, so that would be something else you could add. You could add um, spinach at the end of the day. I will add the spinach at the end of the day. I'm going to cook this sucker on low for four to six hours. We are good to go here, y'all. Okay, where's my lid? Oh, it already smells yummy. I will stick that there. Okay, I'm going to answer any quick questions y'all have about the Magic Menu Planning Boxes. We only have two days left of Crocktober, which makes me super sad. I hope you have enjoyed it. Is the Foodie Ninja airtight? Yes, it is. It is airtight, I think. I think it's airtight. It feels airtight. Need two phones to do both. I have thought about that. I really have thought about two phones. It stresses me out to do one phone because I can't focus on both places. So then I feel like, who's it questions? It's hard enough for me to focus on you guys. Um, you need to do, let's see, you first time catching me live, Tro Troilene. Is it Troilene? Troilene, I'm so glad you caught me live this morning. Joanne, it is going to be a yummy day. I love it. I am making this slow cooker chicken marsala from Slow Cooker Menu Planning Made Easy box. You guys, we have the slow cooker box. Right now, I think we have about a month left of these. So when these sell out, probably definitely before the end of the year and before when these sell out, we will not get these back in stock until middle to late spring. So if you have been debating these boxes, we have plenty. I think we're good on the freezer meals. They are not real close to selling out. They'll sell it eventually, but not super soon. Slow cooker boxes will sell out by maybe by Thanksgiving. So if you're interested in the slow cooker, slow cooker box, grab it. The summer meals will also sell out. So just a heads up, if you're interested in these boxes, grab them now for sure. Will apples work in place of the peaches? I bet apples would work in place of the peaches. I can't think of any reason why that wouldn't work. So yeah, I think that should work for you. Um, can you please turn on the light? Is it, it's, I'm trying to figure out the lighting situation in my kitchen. I'll turn on the light next time. Thank you for saying that. That helps a little bit. Um, he married the teriyaki pork tamoy and it was amazing. Friendship sliders are so good. I'm jealous you're having those tonight. Um, do you love your casserole crock? I love my casserole crock. I love, 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 love my casserole crock. I don't use it a lot, but I use it mostly for baking stuff. Um, can't turn phone into Facebook Live. Someone asked if you can use apples instead of peaches. I think you can. If you are in the, um, if you've ordered the menu planning made easy, we will send you a link to be in the um, private Facebook group. It is worth its weight in gold because everybody makes the meals. They say their adjustments. Guys, we make these meals super kid and family friendly. These are not high-end fancy cooking. If you want to cook super fancy, please do not buy this box. We are normal moms who have to feed regular people every single night. So we have a freezer meal series. I, a lot of people say they like the freezer meal series best as far as the food taste goes. As far as the convenience, the slow cooker meals are gonna be your favorite. I personally like the summer meals box by far the best. Like that would be the one that I would eat from all the time year round. Those are my favorite. Um, is this the same slow cooker? Yes, it is the same slow cooker that you got with the tin. 12 weeks in each box. Yes, we get 12 weeks. Is there a November freezer cooking challenge? I'm debating doing, y'all tell me what you're thinking on this. I'm thinking about doing a freezer Friday once a month, where one time a month, every single month, we'll just do a freezer Friday, fill up our freezer for the month. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Let me know. So we may do a freezer Friday in November. I was just thinking about this. I definitely have one scheduled for December, but I'm tempted to go ahead and do one in February, in, um, in November as well. Let me know if you'd be, in, like the first Friday. So it'd be first Friday freezer meals. Thoughts? Anyways, you made the how do you order the box? Click the link in the video and you can get the box. You will love it. You made the Texas pull, pull, pulled pork. I love that. You love that idea, Lori. You love that idea, Corinne. You love it, Debbie. Yeah, I think that might be what we're going to plan on doing. So freezer Fridays on, it's definitely going to happen in December. I may see if I can swing it in November, which would be like next Friday, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> But I'd love to have my freezer filled, and I thought that way we would just have a month of freezer meal. We would have like five meals that could be our go-to meals on crazy busy days. So freezer meal sounds awesome. You like freezer Friday. I think we'll do a big freezer challenge again in the spring. 
but like a five day one. But I thought just realistically, if we could even maybe walk out, maybe we could shoot for 10 meals in one Friday, every Friday of the month. I mean, really, if we did that, our freezers would be set up. And y'all know we love our freezer meals. Yay on November freezer meals. Freezer Friday would be awesome. You would do that. Okay, well, let's think about that. The problem with the freezer meals and all doing meal planning all the time is that Passionate Penny Pincher started 10 years ago really to help save money um, for people. And there are some people who are just not interested in slow cooker meals or any of the meal planning stuff, which is 100% okay. But I hate to annoy them to pieces. If you're not a person who loves menu planning, we're here for you also. So don't feel like you're totally stuck here um, as only a menu planning site. Because that's really, the only reason we do menu planning is because it saves your time and money. So you save so much time and money by your menu planning. So I feel really strong about that. Okay, you guys, if you're interested in the Slow Cooker Magic Menu Planning Made Easy, click the link in the video. I'm crazy thankful for you. And I hope you will join me over on Instagram Live where I will be making this in about five minutes. Give me time to set up my stage here and figure out how to get the lighting right because I don't think I did the lighting right today. Thank you for loving my shirt. I'm wearing my crock pot shirt because who else could be a dork? I mean, if you're going to make crock pot food all month, you got to be a dork. When will you tell us the meals you're cooking? I will send an email out to everybody for sure and let people know. Um, what's in the crock pot now? In the crock pot now is slow cooker chicken Marcella. Click the link in the video if you're interested in these menu plans. They will change your life. Trust the girls who are asking here, answering here. Y'all are amazing. Have a beautiful day and get dinner done. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.